G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. Today I'm going to talk about just a general update on where I'm at with my, my fitness program, my, my nutrition program. Uh, and I'm also going to just briefly touch on, on ketogenesis and, and the reason will become pretty obvious very quickly. And it's, I'm, we're not going to take a deep dive into that just yet. Again, that's another whole video. Uh, today I kind of want to just keep this video really short talk about uh, what's been going on with me, um, and we'll, we'll just touch on, on ketogenesis. So if this is your first time joining me, thank you very much. Um, I release videos every Tuesday really to talk about uh, weight loss, my own personal fitness journey and, and weight loss journey, uh, but also the things that I've learned along the way that uh, will hopefully help you to get up off that couch and stop resembling it if you've been procrastinating for a long time in terms of weight loss like I did. So, uh, you know, if you've been thinking about dropping some weight and uh, never seem to get started, this is the place for you. So let's get started. So really high level, um, you know, life's continued to be a little bit um, interesting, let's just say. Uh, lots going on. Moved to flatmate out recently. Uh, I'm now uh, in the process of hunting down my own place because I've got to vacate where I am at the moment. So uh, spending a lot of my free time packing and, and organizing uh, somewhere to live. So Whilst it's very easy to follow my, my nutrition plan, it's quite difficult to do some exercise. Now, I did promise the channel last week uh, that I would get started with my exercise again, and I have. Um, I think I ended up closing out the week at three sessions. So, you know, considering I took like a four-week break from uh, from my fitness program, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I should be doing four sessions a week, and certainly this week's a whole new week. So we'll see how we go. This morning, um. I did my exercise program as usual, so hopefully we'll stick to it. But the, the big news in terms of my, my journey really is that my, um, my, my diet's about to change completely. So just quickly before we get onto that, um, just my own weight loss. Uh, I went from 96.3 kilos two Mondays ago because I didn't, didn't do an update last, last week. Uh, and I'm now stable at around 94.6 kilos. Now, um, I hit 94.6 last Monday, so that was, that was a week. In between uh, this, uh, over the last seven days, I dropped down as low as 93.2, but I've actually gone back up to 94.6. So, so that's that seems to be where I'm sitting at the moment. Uh, I'm not too worried about that, uh, particularly after doing uh, my my exercise program again. So, I'm assuming it's probably a little bit of muscle mass uh, over the weekend. I didn't eat that great. I still stuck to my overall, um, <clears throat> excuse me, energy content, but I, you know, I didn't really stick to my macros. So. You know, not a major issue. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, so, so in terms of where I'm going with my diet next, uh, it's time for keto. So, I'm throwing the entire diet out. I'm, I'm actually, I'm still following the program from Science Based Six Pack, uh, but I'm now in phase three for for an eating plan. So, phase three kind of shifts you towards a ketogenic diet. That means I'm going to be eating a lot less carbohydrates. Um, keeping moderate protein intake in terms of my macros, and I'm increasing fats considerably. In fact, it will represent about 75 to 80 percent of my overall diet, and that is to encourage my body to get to to get to a ketogenic state where my body is running on fats for a primary source of fuel instead of sugar, uh, instead of well, instead of sugar, in, in, instead of carbohydrates, which ultimately turns into to sugar. Uh, or glucose, and your body, you know, typically runs on that for fuel. So I, I'm going to kind of force my body to change its primary source of fuel over the next, you know, it can take anywhere from two days to six weeks. Most people average out around two weeks to to kind of re reprogram the body to run on fat. Um, so so you end up in a program or, or in a, a diet style called ketogenesis. Uh, ketogenesis refers to um, the process of your body burning fat to turn it into an energy source. That energy source is called ketone bodies, which is where you get the word ketogenesis, the process of creating ketone bodies. It's where you get the word keto diet from. It's a shortening of, of those terms. Um, ketosis is the state that you, uh, the, it's the name of the state when your body is burning fat. So, you know, there are a lot of, of core advantages for, for being in a ketogenic state. The primary one, obviously, is if you're training your body to run on fat as a primary source of fuel, you'll be eating a lot more fat in your diet, but it also gets your body to start eating its own fat resources to turn that into energy, particularly when you're lowering your carbohydrate intake down to something in the range of 15% of your overall daily intake, 
it sounds a little high. It might be closer to five to ten percent. I'm still still kind of tweaking the program because there's a lot of a lot of advice on the internet, a lot of ranges. Um, protein is also an important factor, so it's very easy to think that you can just eat protein uh, in a ketogenic diet. But one of the common mistakes made early on in a ketogenic diet is to eat too much protein. Protein can actually be turned back into sugar by your liver. So if you're on a ketogenic diet where you're trying to starve your body of blood sugar to a point where it's forced to look at fat as a, as a core energy source, uh, then eating too much protein can actually throw you back out of ketosis. So in terms of how you test for ketosis, um, there are uh, strips that you can buy from, from a pharmacy or a drugstore if you're in the US uh, and you just you wee on the stick essentially and it will change color depending on whether or not you're in a ketogenic state. It will, it will detect the presence of ketone bodies. So core advantage, as I said before, really to start burning fat as your primary source of fuel. Uh, it also sharpens the mind. Uh, it um, you know, keeps your energy levels and your insulin levels very, very flat and static, which means you don't kind of go through those highs and those lulls that you that you associate with a carbohydrate heavy diet. Now, there's lots of schools of thought around, do you go for a carb heavy diet? Do you go for a fat heavy diet? In my case, I'm going to try a ketogenic diet uh, to try and encourage my body to continue to burn more and more fat. Uh, it's particularly good in phase three, the science-based six pack program, because after, you know, f- uh, after eight weeks of being in in a, an energy deficit, your body starts to, I'm expecting that your body starts to peter out in terms of how much fat it's realistically going to burn based on just a basic deficit, a, a caloric deficit. Uh, so in this case, I'm actually dropping my calorie levels down again. Uh, I'll be eating six and a half thousand kilojoules a day. I've previously been eating uh, seven and a half thousand kilojoules a day. I'll be eating between 75 and 80% fats, uh, less than less than 25, probably close to uh, 20% um, protein, and then the rest will be made up of carbohydrates. So you do need a little bit of carbohydrates. To me, I'll be sticking to about 30 grams of carbs a day, which means bread's out, pasta's out, rice is out. You know, I'll be eating lots of avocado. Um, a lot of uh, protein will come out of my chicken as always, but I've actually got to cut the chicken level down. My protein shakes are changing again because, again, I need to shift from carbs to fats. So I'll be moving into the ketogenic state. That's my high level. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, like I said at the very beginning, I wanted to keep this video short. So it's just really high level on, on a keto diet and also, a, you know, just a general update on where I am with my weight loss program because this, this, uh, this channel is really about tracking my weight loss as well as sharing information that I learn along the way with you. So I've learned all about keto as a result of kind of moving into that third phase of the program. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of touch on it at a very high level. We'll, we'll do a deep dive into that in some po- at some point. I might even do some graphics, something a little bit more interesting than looking at my ugly mug. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining me again. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see videos every Tuesday on my weight loss journey. And also, um, you know, some, some basics if, you're, if you've been procrastinating for a long time around weight loss and you've been thinking about it, but you haven't started doing it, this is the right place for you. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you got a little bit of information out of it that you found useful. And drop me a comment if you've actually tried keto and let me know what your experiences are. Anyway, I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for joining me.